as always if you appreciate the content if you like my theming of Linux and uh, quick and simple tutorials especially on DWM where things aren't so uh, user-friendly please give a like and a sub because that will be extremely appreciated and as you can see I'm back on of course mate here whenever I use a full graphical desktop I go to mate it's just very basic um, straightforward to use configure uh, and I've got a new wallpaper here if anybody can identify what scene this is and from what anime I'll be extremely impressed because uh, hint hint this anime has many endings and this is the least popular well I don't know it might be the least popular uh, route to take in this video game so yeah if anybody could identify what uh, route or scene this is that'd be really cool and there are a bunch of hints here well two major hints anyway uh, since I'm back on Debian uh, I wanted to show something very interesting that I found which is the fact that you can transform Debian into a rolling release similar to Arch Linux. Now the one drawback is that it's not as bleeding edge as Arch Linux is, but it's more up to date than the current release. And before you proceed with doing this, uh, just know that if you're gonna change your Debian system to uh, rolling release, things might break, unexpected things might happen. But you know this is always a risk, right? So proceed at your own discretion. And I'll link the documentation that I read to do this in the uh, description of the video, and then you can read more about it. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. Uh, we would just uh, run nano or vim, whatever your text editor is. We navigate to etc, apt, sources, dot list. Okay. And the way that it's described in the Arch Wiki is that there are, sorry, not Arch Wiki, I'm so used to being on Arch Linux, on the Debian Wiki, is that there are several different release uh, code names. So we have Stretch, uh, which is old, old stable, the technical name. Then we have Buster, which is old stable. Then we have Bullseye, which is stable. And they say in the uh, Debian Wiki to avoid using stable because it might uh, trigger updates at unexpected moments and this would be awful right because it might break your system so using this value might be more dangerous than being on these two so yeah avoid using that uh, bookworm is the latest uh, release that's being tested currently and I think in one month it will be released and then we have the most interesting one for me which is SID the unstable one uh, so when you edit your sources configuration it's actually very easy to make it into a rolling release I would just comment out whatever default you have or whatever uh, configuration you currently have for your release so I had bullseye um, on my Pinebook Pro I'm actually on Bookworm because that was the way that the Pinebook uh, wiki explained to install and I you know I wasn't really too sure if it was gonna work or not so I was like okay let me try it it turned out to be quite stable so I'm actually fine with it I'm not gonna change it. but anyway when I came to here you know I just took some ISO I wrote it to USB stick and then I installed so anyway yeah that's how I ended up on uh, Bullseye but anyway uh, we just comment out these sources and because it's a rolling release this branch here does not have any security updates um, or updates at all because you're just getting the latest uh, uh, release of that software so we just need to add these two lines here and make sure that our uh, code name or alias is either SID or unstable now for me personally if I were to track a release a real release I would use the name so if I'm on bullseye and I want to stay on bullseye until you know it's done just keep it at bullseye I would not use stable um, neither would I use testing 
I would always just stay at the release that I want, right? I use Sid here because Sid is, as the Debian wiki says, doomed forever. It will always be unstable. So you can reference it as Sid until they decide to change this logic, you know, it's gonna stay like that forever. So once we uh, <clears throat> confirm our modification, save everything, we just run a sudo apt update and then we would do another sudo apt full update and then you would see you would have like a million packages to update now um it's still again not as a bleeding edge oops uh it's not as bleeding edge as uh arch linux would be but for me i'm still kind of satisfied by the fact that i'm getting more releases and also in general i just don't i don't really like doing um distribution upgrades before i remember when i was on ubuntu years ago when i was a kid i would do distribution updates and uh things would kind of break and configurations were kind of wonky sometimes so uh I, I never really liked doing those major updates because you know you finally had this full stable system then you would do a uh, release upgrade and then something would break for me this happened i mean it's been years since i've used ubuntu um uh but anyway going to a rolling release i just appreciated that because everything just kept coming you know and you could usually the update manager will warn you or ask you about what uh configurations you want to keep what do you want to you know um use the maintainers version things like that so uh, so yeah i would i would I, i'm really enjoying this uh unstable branch here and it still to be honest feels quite stable i mean the kernel is like 6.1 or something or 6.0 uh, it's still f behind arch linux so if you want something that's more up to date but uh still kind of stable i think that this is okay i haven't seen any issues with it so yeah it's pretty straightforward and uh, i think that'll be it for this video i'm running this on some interesting hardware and i'm not going to reveal yet what this hardware is uh, because I'm still fixing it up. I have it fixed up enough to run uh, a basic install here, but I, it's not up to my sort of standard of actually running. I still need to fix a few physical things like with hardware. And then I think I'll drop a more interesting video on that soon. But if you, again, appreciate the content, if you like the fat fluffy red hamster or my new awesome picture, here in the background please give a like and a sub as it would be extremely appreciated and i hope that you really found this useful